Hi guys, and welcome back to Talking Tales, the YouTube series where I talk about writing a novel for the first time. This is episode number five, and it is the first episode that I am recording after I finished NaNoWriMo. If you haven't watched the series so far, uh, I'll link it down below, but essentially, I've just finished NaNoWriMo 2020, which is an event where authors challenge themselves to write a 50,000 word novel during the month of November. From the very beginning, I knew that I wasn't going to finish my novel in the month of November, but I'm actually pretty far in, and I'm going to talk about what I liked, what I disliked, and some other observations and feelings I had along the way. So what was good? The thing I enjoyed most, in all honesty, is having a purpose and a goal with my writing. This is true in of the word count goal and working towards 50,000 words during the month, but it also relates to the goal that I had leading up to NaNo, which was making sure that I was ready to write by the 1st of November. Having this purpose and having a goal to work towards really made me focus on what I wanted to get done, and it meant that I had, you know, something to work towards, which is always important, because I've found in projects before that if I don't have a goal, I'll just flounder around until I decide to drop the project. Doing NaNo also got me back into writing in a way that I didn't think was possible. I've had a rocky relationship with writing over the last few years, which I won't get into. I mentioned at the beginning of this series that I've not written properly, like long form, in quite a few years, even though I spent most of my childhood and adolescence dreaming about writing and writing fan fiction or writing self-insert stories. But working on this project has really gotten me back into writing. I'm now really inspired to carry on this project and also maybe write more projects in the future, which is always a good thing. The experience wasn't perfect though, so what was bad? The thing about NaNo and writing a lot of words in a short amount of time is you have quite a steep daily word goal. For NaNoWriMo specifically, it's 1,667 words a day. Me being me aimed for about 1,700 words a day because I wanted a whole number to aim towards. And while this was great and made me feel very accomplished in the short time that I was writing, it also made it very stressful if I wasn't having a day where writing a large amount of words was easy for me. There were quite a few occasions where I'd get to 500 words and really, really not want to keep writing anymore, and hitting that daily word count felt like climbing a mountain. There are other aspects too, like I enjoy writing, but it did take up a lot of my free time. Free time that I could have been using for other hobbies, other passions, and other creative projects. That being said though, none of this actually, you know, tarnished the experience and none of it ruined it for me. It was just some things that I had to keep in mind as I was going through and they seem pretty obvious now that I'm on the other side, but they hadn't really occurred to me before I started. If you're looking into doing nano or doing a similar project, then it is something to keep in mind, I guess. Would you take part in NaNoWriMo again? 2021, perhaps? The short answer is Maybe. The long answer is, it really depends on the situation. I fully believe that the only reason I was able to get NaNo done at all this year is because my list of responsibilities is relatively low. I live at home, I have a part-time job, and my biggest responsibility other than working is walking the dog a few times a week and cooking occasionally. I also have no idea where I'm going to be in a year's time. I'd like to be living away from home with friends and having something resembling a full-time job. And if those things come to fruition, then I can't see me having the spare time or the desire to take part in something so creatively taxing. That's not to say no, though. If I have a really burning idea that I want to get down, then NaNo is the best way to kickstart a project for me, I think. So while I'd love to take part in NaNo again, it really depends on what my life is like at the time, and if I think I'm going to be able to do it without burning myself out. So now that NaNo is over and done with, what's next? Well, for my novel, I'm taking the rest of this week off. It's Thursday right now and I am not writing again until Monday. I think I deserve that. When I do get back into writing though, I think I'm going to give myself a daily word goal of 500 words, and that may go up or down depending on how easy I find it, or whether that's still really a struggle for me. The important thing is though, I am fully entrenched in my novel and I know that I want to keep writing now. So I'm going to try my best to finish this project and I'm I may be halfway through, but I am nowhere near done yet. There is a lot of editing to do already, I can tell. In terms of this series, Talking Tales, I will be continuing to make videos, of course, but they won't be 
any semblance of regular. Let's be honest, they weren't even weekly in November. I only made three of them. At the moment, I can really only see myself making videos when I hit milestones or I have something burning to talk about, but that could change in the future as well. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how my story is going, at the very least. And the sections like the lore and the writer recommendations may return in the future, but they're not going to be regular again either. They were really just something I wanted to pad out the videos that I was making during NaNo. So there you have it, that's my wrap up for NaNoWriMo 2020. Again, if you haven't watched the other episodes of Talking Tales and you're now more curious about the more in-depth discussions that I was having about the writing process at the time, of course, as I said, the rest of the playlist will be linked in the description below. And of course, if you want to see where the rest of this series is going, feel free to leave a like or subscribe, it really does help. I do lots of other content on my channel, like music and the occasional vlog, so if that's something that you're interested in, please do stick around. I'd love to have you here with us for the journey. So I will see you soon, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you live your life to the fullest. Bye guys! <laughs>